Yeah, unfortunately, there's an abundance of free speech or boring free speech. Sure there is. But there isn't an abundance of Bitcoin and distribution. So the I want to get back to the privacy argument. Yes. How do we get the privacy if it's really difficult to get Bitcoins or other cryptocurrencies without money? Well, uh, so I don't get Bitcoins with money. I work for them. I get Bitcoins through the expenditure of my labor. I don't buy. I earn Bitcoins. There is a fundamental philosophical difference when you start earning Bitcoin or any currency in the new digital domain compared to when you buy it. When you buy it, it is an investment. When you earn it, it is the fruit of your labor. When I buy Bitcoin, I am simply adding my economic activity to Bitcoin. When I take my labor and I start selling my labor for Bitcoin, I am doing two things. I am not only adding my productivity to Bitcoin, I am also removing it from the US dollar. I am removing it from the traditional sphere of economics. That is a very powerful act. Uh, and I would encourage you all, don't buy Bitcoin. Earn it. Whatever you do, do it for Bitcoin. You cut hair, cut hair for Bitcoin. You drive a taxi, drive a taxi for Bitcoin. Nobody will buy your services. Nobody bought my services for two years. That's okay. Eventually, someone will. Uh, and then you're part of this new vibrant economy. <coughs> Give it time. These things have momentum. Momentum is increasing. And at some point, you'll be the one who made the smart decision five years ahead of everybody else. <laughs>